Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, rectangle A, B, C, D, and uh, a diagonal a diagonal from B to D is drawn, and a horizontal line from uh, E to F, such that it intersects B, D, uh, of course, at G, and another line F, D. Therefore, a uh, uh, forming a uh, blue tra this blue triangle 84 square units with the two sides FG and uh, GD and the length of E to G is given to be 7 units and we are required to find the length of segment uh, AG or the segment X okay so first is we focus on this uh, 84 square unit that uh, triangle so let us uh, say that this length fg or gf is uh, a small letter a and the uh, height is uh, b small letter b uh, for fc so this will be also b since we have formed this uh, uh, this is a horizontal line given earlier this is also b Okay, so next is we uh, use the uh, write the equation for the area of this uh, blue triangle and in terms of the lengths and the uh, width. Okay, so this length GF and uh, FC. Or it is uh, for GF it is A and for FC it is B. So area is equal to one half times the base uh, A times the height which is B and the area is area of the triangle so let's call this uh, area T so it is equal to 84 is equal to one half AB and uh, if we multiply this cross multiply this we have uh, A will have AB is equal to 84 times 2 or AB is equal to 168 okay so next is we focus on these two uh, triangles so this uh, uh, being a right triangle G FB so this is also a right triangle because we said earlier that EF is a horizontal line so this triangle is a right triangle and this is also a right triangle so because this angle at e is perpendicular so meaning this angle should be also 90 degrees okay so next is we label this uh, segment bf as uh, h so let's label this as h and Next is we focus on these two triangles, so this GFB and this uh, EGD. Okay, so notice that these two angles uh, at point G are actually uh, uh, vertical angles, and therefore they are they are congruent. So we can label them uh, with a single uh, uh, value. So let's call this angle alpha, single variable. Okay, so next is uh, if we have this, this is a right triangle, these two triangles are right triangles, then the third angle, it's called this beta, There's, it is the complement of alpha. And for this uh, smaller right triangle, this is also beta, the complement of alpha, as we have set up for the first or the, or the larger right triangle okay so having these two uh, right triangles with same uh, uh, angles angle measures equal angle measures correspondingly so these two triangles are similar by angle 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 similarity theorem okay so again having those uh, Two triangles to be similar so we can use ratio and proportion so for if we have angle alpha 
as a reference. So we use uh, 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 the opposite over adjacent. So for this uh, EGD opposite over adjacent. So okay. So isolating these two triangles. So for uh, EGD. So EGD with uh, the angle uh, alpha the opposite is b and the adjacent is 7 so we can use the ratio of this being b over 7 is equal to for uh, b f g so b f g we have uh, the opposite to angle alpha as h so this is angle alpha, the opposite is H over the adjacent, which is A. And uh, we simply cross multiply. So we have AB is equal to 7H. Okay, so now having two values for AB. So uh, which is 168 and AB is also 7H. So AB is equal to AB. So AB for the second instance. So this is a 7H is equal to 168 also. So if we divide both sides by 7, so we have here a uh, H is equal to 24 uh, units. Okay, so BF being H, since BF is actually, uh, we can actually project it to the left. So it will be also the value for uh, AE. So H, this will become also H, this AE. And H being 24. And uh, we notice that this triangle uh, is given to be a right triangle. So this AEG. So next is we will use Pythagorean theorem to get the uh, uh, length of AG or X, which is the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle AGE. Okay, so now for the final step is we use the Pythagorean theorem for triangle AGE. So uh, this uh, we are looking for segment AG or X. So X is equal to the square root of this uh, the square of the two legs. So seven square plus twenty four square, and this gives us uh, X is equal to square root of uh, 49 plus 576 and this gives us a x as the square root of 625 or x is equal to 25 units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye